Why are you driving this expensive BMW? I hate rich kids. Police officers, stop this innocent young driver. Without any reason, just watch the video and you will realize the officers hate towards these innocent young guys. This innocent driver is stopped by the police for no apparent reason while driving in Troy, Michigan. The officer demands his ID and instantly becomes confrontational when the passenger questions why he is detained. Within a few seconds, the officer accuses him of interfering with a police investigation and trespassed him. If that's not enough when the passenger asks the reason for this illegal stop, the officer questions his upbringing, stating that this is how you talk with elders. If you ask me one more question, you are going to jail. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. You're on your phone. I'm recording that right here. I want your ID now. Absolutely, yeah, of course. I'm giving you. Hold on. Hey, can I, can I, can I put this up for me, please? Oh, this is right there. There you go. You see this? Yeah. What are you guys doing up here? We just came. I, I thought we just we just driving around, so we just came and we got to, you said it is from him trimming? Yeah. Your phone down. Why? Play. Unlock, Unlock the car. Unlock the car. Why? Because I said oh, something. Why? For what? For what reason? For what reason? I don't, said, don't touch my property, sir. I haven't committed any crime. What are you doing? Exactly. Listen to me, young man. You better stop. What, what's because going? right now, listen to me. Just listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. You're interfering with a police investigation. Yeah. Right. Do you understand me? Yeah. And if you right. keep doing what you're doing yeah. and keep beating, bucking up, uh -huh. you're going to end up going to jail. For what reason? I just told you, interference with police investigation. Well, we didn't know that. We were just about to leave. That's what she told us. No. If you're talking, but I made a you're interfering you know with that. police investigation. Right now, you're trespassing. Right. What? Okay. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You don't win. I win. Well, you don't win. I win. Get your ID out. Who doesn't have an ID? Are you sure? Yeah. You gave two of them over here? Yeah. Rose, you have two? Yes. That's the only one I have. I have a right there. What city is everybody living here? Uh, what are you guys doing up here? As I said, we just came. We don't even know nothing. And she told us to make a U-turn, and that's what I made a U-turn. And somebody, oh, probably you was there flashing. Yeah. That's what I stopped. So that's it. Nothing yeah. else. No, I told you to turn around multiple times, and you just... No, I, just make you I said, I said, said an no. I said, do this you live here? And you just stared at argument. me. And I said, do you live here? And you I stared at me. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. And and I said, leave. Okay, turn I wasn't leaving, though. I wasn't leaving. I just made a U-turn right next to you. Not right next to you, right? Did I even run anywhere? No, I didn't. I'm close to you. parents teach you to be this disrespectful? I'm not being disrespectful. Oh, you're I'm being, just, you're being being practicing very, my rights, officer. Yeah. I'm just There's a difference my rights. between practicing your rights and yes. being very disrespectful. I'm not being yeah, disrespectful. Oh, I'm you're, being, sorry. you're being very disrespectful. I don't know what happened to you. I think you're having a bad day. You're just trying to get you know what I, You know what I think? What happened? You know what I think? What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I think you're just disrespectful. I think and you I'm, can't stand it. Uh -huh. You can't stand that you're in the position that you're in. Uh -huh. And you don't know when to shut your mouth. That's the problem. I have freedom of speech, brother. Then practice it. I am practicing, practicing it. it by being quiet. Look, there is another one. Do you then. understand that? Officer, can I can I turn on my vehicle? No, leave it off. I, yeah, the, okay. leave it on? Put your phone down, man. It's okay, I'll just... Put your phone down. Is, is, it, is it a crime? Just keep it on? I'll just keep it on it because I didn't even do nothing. I don't know nothing. She told me you're to make it. You're trespassing. That's what you're doing. Trespassing? For yeah, what? You're trespassing. How? How is that, though? How I don't answer that? to you. Okay, then. You asked me a question and I answered it. Okay, I don't want a question, though. Okay. You guys having a good day? Officer. Better than yours. I can tell. I'm a, I Better can than tell. yours. How is your family? Everything good? How's the family? How's the kids? Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm trying to be a yeah. good talk citizen, to, man. Then practice it by being quiet. I'm not being detained, am I? Yeah, you are. For what reason? You're trespassing. I've already explained um, this to you. You're interfering with the police investigation. The next step uh -huh. is I'm going to handcuff you. I'm going to take you with me. I didn't know. Do you, you understand? Know? You, I've already explained this to you. I'm not going to explain it to you again. Okay. If I have to explain it to you one more time, you're getting locked up. I have to go. What they do, man. That's right. That's what we do. Purple. What's your base number? Sir? 109. 109. Uh, Troy, please. You're in the city of Troy. Yes, sir. I'll see you guys pretty soon. I'm easy to find. If you're threatening me, I'm, I'm easy not, to I'm find. Not threatening you, sir. you just told me I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon in the court. I know you're sheriff. Good. Tell what? him I said hi. He knows exactly who I am. That's my. That's my stepdad, actually. Yeah. Okay.
I'm telling you, that's my stepdad. Mm -hmm. The sheriff is your stepdad? Driver? Yeah. Okay, good. You planning I'm on driving this well, out of here? I'm sorry? You planning on driving this vehicle out of here? Yes. Yes, yeah. ma'am. That's the reason, and she okay. she told me to, she told me to. So, make... are you planning on driving without any insurance? What? I can show you my paperwork in my car. I have the insurance. I have valid. Everything is valid. But it doesn't have insurance. I can show you the paperwork, ma'am. Okay. I do have the insurance. Pull it up, pull it up. Okay, just in the glove box, bro. Vehicle? No. Okay. You can check the whole car. I have no issues. I mean, no, why would I let you? What happened? Somebody got killed or something? Man, none of your business. Just shut up. That's it. Yeah. That's the one, ma'am. I like your glasses, man. What the f is wrong with you, bro? Officer, is it okay if I turn off my car? What'd you say? Okay. Turn it off. Turn it, turn off, it off. So now you have no insurance on your vehicle. What? I hey, do. Listen this. to me. Can you just listen to me for a second? Go ahead. Go ahead. You have no insurance on your vehicle. I so just listen to me for a hot second. If you wish to drive out of here and go back to Detroit or Hamtramck, I would suggest that you shut your mouth and all your friends shut their mouths. Okay. Because the ability to, for you to drive is in your hands, his hands, and everybody else's hands. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. It's Can I speak yet? No, I'm not answering your questions. It's a yes or no answer. You understand that, right? Yes. Is it still done? Or... I don't know. Are so if anybody else has something smart plan? to say, okay. now's your opportunity because we'll tow the car. If I want to verify, then I'm going to have to call them. What is the paperwork for? Yeah, but... but if... You don't want me to call and verify, then. You what is the paperwork for? I paid like thousand dollars for two BMWs. And then I won't call and verify. I have the I have the estimate that I paid by online. You I don't I paid. Insurance. I do. This is no. I, no insurance. What this one? You got to take it for it. I told them that I can no. call and verify if they. I mean, yeah, because I I made an insurance of two BMWs. I got a three series one and this the one. I made it two of them at the same time. I paid a thousand dollar, thousand I think twelve hundred dollars. I paid it. So how, is, how come I don't have the insurance and I'm, I'm on the road, I'm valid. That's the reason I'm driving around here. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you as a nice guy, like I did pay it. I had a two VMWs and one, yeah. both of them right there and I paid for it. They'll find out, don't worry about it. No, I, I, probably your system is not showing up. Probably, probably. I'm not saying like it's not, but I'm saying it's probably not showing up. Look, there's another guy right there, okay. So. A lot of people say no, no, why would I gotta, man, why would I gotta shut up? Because I do have the insurance and now they're gonna write me up tickets. That's why I'm just not trying to get the ticket because I do, I, I did pay it. I did, I have the estimate in my bank account that I did pay for the uh, uh, insurance. So I do, so I don't want to get a citation. So make sure that I'm valid because I do have the insurance. There is the paperwork. Is that fine? Is it showing up? No. Next time I catch you up here, I'm up here all the time. Next time I catch you up here, if you give me this again and I run your car, there's no insurance, I'm towing the vehicle. You got me? Okay. Because okay. yeah. what I'm suspecting is that you paid for it and then you called back and you canceled it, which is why it says no in my system. But I swear I did okay, pay for it. Okay, I, I, I don't want to hear it. I, I'm telling you what's happening. Okay. I'm letting you go. Okay, Next thank you. Next time I catch you, I'm impounding the vehicle. You got me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Here's all the ideas. Okay. This rebel auditor caught the officer for reckless driving and aggressive behavior. Officer McDonald has put citizens' lives in danger with his reckless driving. But instead of accepting his mistake, the officer accused the auditor of interfering with the traffic stop. The officer defends his actions by stating, I am allowed to do whatever it takes. What you are doing is an officer safety violation. Why do you need my name and batch number? If I want, I can put you in jail right away, leading to a superheated exchange. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. Hey, you mind if I get your name and badge number? Yeah, why? Huh? Why? I just want to get your name and badge number. Dude, I'm on a traffic stop. What, what right, I seen how you was driving reckless. I was trying to catch up with this car. Yeah, but the way you did it was real reckless. You did like a, you did like a crazy illegal U-turn. I can do that. You cut people off and then you rode I tell you what, why don't you stand by for me right here? I'll stand wherever you want me to, but I'm going to need your badge number and your name. Yeah, I was trying to catch up with this car that was going excessively over the ski limit. Well, I get that. I have every right to do a U-turn and pull around right there. Right, but what you did was endanger people more so than what he did. No, I wasn't. I watched you, and then you rode my ass the whole time to get around me. Yeah, because the then guy in the left hit lane me. Then you was almost hit me. up the left lane. I didn't well, that, even close to hitting you. Okay, but what was your name and badge number? 
Corporal McDonald, 11013. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah. You have a good day. By the way, don't ever just come up on a traffic stop like that. Okay? I'll do what I want. No, you're not going to do that again. Right. You can't just walk up on a traffic stop when I'm in the middle of an investigation like that. You understand? I just did it. Well, I can tell you what, man. If I wanted to take another attitude and put you in right now, I could. That would just be a lawsuit. No, it's not. I've been right well with him. Dude, you better fucking. You need to educate and yourself. And you're on, on the film. Law. I don't care. So are you. Right. Okay, you don't just walk up on a traffic stop. That's an officer by that's an officer safety violation. Right. You don't just walk up on a on a traffic stop like that, bro. Right. That's a great way to get put in cuffs and get taken to jail. It's right. called obstruction. Right. Actually, you know what? What's your name? Give me your uh, give me your ID. I don't have to, but I'll do it. Yeah, you do. I, I, no, you do. Check this you out. do have to give me your ID. Here you go, buddy. Just because I want to. That, that's not how Because you was just abused about to be a tyrant. There's my ID, sir. No, no, because you There's my ID, my sir. Center. There you go. I see who you are now. It makes sense why you're out of my truck, sir. Does it? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Whatever you want it to mean. Who, who am I, big boy? Who am I, big boy? Who am I, big boy? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, I just, I see who you are. Who are you approaching up on like that? What do you keep saying that for? You trying to intimidate me, boy? I'm trying to intimidate you. I see that you have multiple trespass warnings against you. You obviously aren't like that of a bunch of other businesses. You're obviously a person that likes to do this to other officers on traffic stops. You have a tendency to do this. Have a nice day. Yeah. This innocent man, Daniel Butterfield, clashes with police officers demanding he remove someone's personal information from the internet, citing vague safety concerns. Butterfield refuses, arguing there's no law against it, and challenges the police officers to present any legal justification. The officers admit they previously failed to meet legal standards, but persist in their baseless demands, showing a blatant disregard for Butterfield's rights. Watch the video and share your opinion in the comments. I have added Daniel's channel link in the description. Please show him some support. Like we said earlier, okay, you agreed to it before you started recording, right? That you would change the I've name. changed my mind. You've changed your mind. I've now. changed my mind. And I will not do that because okay. I've reviewed what's there and that you don't have any standard. There's no reason for me to take it down, not legally. Okay. There is no law against printing something about somebody that is critical. I have to, I'm doing this because I am a mystic who channels spirits and he's one of them. So it's as simple as that. We need to do that though without putting people's personal that is, information online. That the is, there is no, that is that not, there's not, there's no, there's no criminal code against that. There's no criminal code against that. That is a safety risk. That is no, crook. then you have to present that criminal code where it outlaws that specifically. Daniel, they presented it to you last time you were That, here. and they and would, no, they did not. No, they did not. No, they did not. They did not meet the standard. And you, and you have no evidence that they did. When you, and that report says exactly that. Michael, the report says exactly how they didn't make sense. Daniel, when you were when you were cautioned, you understood the caution that was being read to you. No, no, that is not what I. That is just, that is a lie. That is a lie. I told you exactly what it was. I understood what they said, and I countered it with, "Thank you," with okay. my Perfect. understanding of the criminal code, which it did not meet. Okay. So you, there is so no criminal. Did, there is did, no reason to did, take it down. You did in fact say you do understand. I did, and I also understood what I just said, which is that they did not meet the standard. They write it out, it's in that report, you can go bring that too. And they did not meet the standard. So I, whatever I said I would do in terms of taking on post, I changed my mind, it's as simple as that. I'm the leader here. You're the leader. Yeah. Okay, and, and you- And you as are... such, thank you. I have no need to take it down. Also, I have no need to take it down by any criminal standard. Sorry? I have no need to take it down by any criminal standard. You are making up some law. You are not allowed to say things about people on the internet. That is that's not, not true. Not that is not true one little bit. And now you're you know it. Uh, you are, Jesus Christ, but this is crazy ass bull coming from people who are supposedly police. You were even real police we're, officers. We are telling you, Daniel, that you are putting somebody Can I else. see badge numbers and- The problem is, is you put somebody's address and somebody's name. Okay, how about this? If someone- It's not at, social media. May I- may Nonetheless, no. Yeah. Okay? So, let's- Let's reverse the rules here. Somebody puts your address and that, your That is not how the law works, okay? <laughs> then they're allowed to. They're allowed to. Absolutely. They're allowed to. They're allowed to. My address is on that website. Thank you. It is right there on that website. And you've chosen to do that. That is your choice. And if somebody else chose to, then I'm fine with that because and there's no law against it. That's okay that you're fine with it. The other party involved with this is not okay with their address, their name, their personal information being put out on Is that true? Website. I would like to hear from him personally then. 
If, you don't, if, you don't, that's what we're here to tell you. No, well, then then you can bring him here yourself, and I would we like to hear from him. We don't need to bring him here. He doesn't want to speak to you. Well, he doesn't want to have any contact with you. Well, then I... then I that's the first time and had us come here and nicely have um, to I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Thank you. There, that, that, isn't, that doesn't really make any kind of rational sense. Well, well, he's, he doesn't have to. This is like childish stuff where yeah, we don't have to do he, this. He doesn't feel comfortable coming okay, to your well, residence and talking to you. Well, then come here with police protection. If he's scared, he, he can come here with... Why don't we come here with you guys? How about that? But he doesn't need to. Well, I don't need to take it down then. Okay, Mike. I can just... You just say he doesn't need to. I can just say I don't need to take it down. Okay. If that's the kind of logic that you use in, your, in law enforcement, fine. Well, he, he's, he's scared for his safety. Okay. So he, he doesn't How, who, feel comfortable. From who? From who? From you. Okay, uh, well, why doesn't he talk to me personally? Because he's, he's scared, scared to he talk. Has, he has my phone number. He can send me a text message. He doesn't, he doesn't want, want to talk to me. Do you want me to send him a text message? Mike, I will not hurt you. I don't want any contact with you. Well, go ahead and do that. I, I wish that we could have come to a resolution that, that we both could have agreed on tonight. Okay. It doesn't seem like we're going to get there tonight. Okay. So we'll go do some work. Yes, that's then, what you need then, to do. And then we'll come back. And that's we'll, right. And we'll you have need another conversation. I hope yes. that we can just bring it down a little bit. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to educate people on First Amendment rights. Make sure you like our videos as much as possible. We will see you in the next video.